During the nine days we'd spoken about happiness, what it is. The Rebbe says something very interesting. How do we achieve happiness? The Rebbe says usually, an interesting term, you can only reach happiness through milsa de shtusa. I don't know if it's appropriate to talk about this in the nine days, so I saved it for afterwards. What does it mean milsa de shtusa? To do something silly, stupid. It wasn't something that was seen by the rest of the Hasidim of previous generations. They didn't do some results in the industry. That wasn't the way they reacted. In Uman, their people were very, very normal, very, very, very honorable. They acted very, very simple, tremendous of people. They didn't do things that were strange. And when it came, people from other places that didn't know the way of that the Rebbe acted, there was it caused a little bit of. It was. It was. It was. It wasn't looked upon so so well. Because that wasn't the way the Rebbe had taught people to act. Yes, obviously, sometimes when someone is very down, you need to make make him make him happy. You can make a funny face. You can do something to make him happy. But what is it? What is the etza that the Rebbe teaches us here? What is something milsa deshtus? What does it mean really? A shtus means something that's not. For instance, a small child. Dresses up like an old man, puts on a beard and a stick on Purim, and it's funny. Or all the person that puts it, puts a pacifier in their mouth, it's funny. Why? Because it's not the appropriate way. It's not. It's not what what it's supposed to be. So it's funny. The Rebbe says usually a person is only able to reach happiness by doing something funny or something silly. How does it mean? If for me, for instance, I should be happy with what? Let me think. If I learn all of Shas, if I learn, okay, not all of Shas, today, what is going to make me happy? If I learn six hours, three hours at least, then I could be happy. Let me say, wait a minute. I want to be happy now. I'm not able to be happy. I'm going to be happy that I learned a Mishnah, that I learned a Parak Mishnah. That doesn't make any sense. That's not a reason to be happy. It's a reason to be happy for a kid in 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 in, in Kita Aleph and Kita Be in Kita Gimel Dalid that they learned the Mishnah. For me to learn a Mishnah, it's not appropriate for me. You're right. It's funny. But that's when it's gonna make you happy. When you recognize that where you are, you don't have to you, you don't have to be what you think you have to be. You could dress up a different a different costume every day. You need to make sure you're happy. Be happy with the silliest little thing, with the mils of the shtusa, with the nekuda toiva. There are talks about happiness. What is it? How do you come to happiness? There are, everyone, we very quoted the mils of the shtusa. But the Rebbe talks about what is the way, the way, and the, the mils of the shtusa is the way to open it. But how do you continue the happiness? How do you build the happiness? The nekuda toiva is. You find true, real, beautiful things, beautiful diamonds. I put on tefillin today. What's to be happy about putting on tefillin? Everybody does it. I've done it every day. That's the way you start it. That's the way you start to be happy. Even if it's, at least you think, stupid. It's not appropriate to be happy for putting on tefillin. If you put on tefillin that someone that never put on tefillin in their lives, you could be happy. For me, I'm already 20, 30, 40. Why should I be happy with that? Be happy with that. You will retrieve true happiness. Thank you.